So, where do you stand the best chance of pulling someone in the first place? Apparently, locations with a hint of danger are likely to improve your chances. Something to do with all that adrenaline. We're not making this up. They've done studies. Honest. In one classic psychological study, guys walked along a bridge and they bumped into quite an attractive woman. And she would chat with the guy and the question was, would the guys ask for her telephone number? So, we found somewhere scary the Spinnaker Tower in Portsmouth, which has a glass floor overlooking a 100-metre sheer drop to put this theory to the test. First, the control bit of the experiment, and our actress got flirty with some single guys on terra firma. Yeah. And do you enjoy living here? Uh, she posed as a news reporter, but when they thought the cameras were off, she tried her best to get asked out. How many dates would she get in an hour of trying? Yeah. What are you doing when you finish work? Anything exciting? Uh, or? Nothing exciting at all, to be no. honest. No, no, no. Have you got to work in the morning? or? Uh, to be honest, I've got to work at two. And I thought one of down here might as well make the most of it and see what's going on around, you yeah, know, no, Saturday it's, and it's Sunday. It's a good city once you get in. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Not quite sure what she has to do to make these blokes get it, but so far they're not. As far as I, you know, on your own, not really sure. Yeah. <laughs> um. Kind of where to go, I'm just gonna, I don't know. Well, when you're ready, I mean, I know you're working at the minute, but give me a call, I'll give you my number, you can give me your number. At last, a live one. Oh, yeah, that's, that's right. After the hour of our experiment, she's managed to get two dates. Not too bad, but can she do better up high, where the adrenaline's likely to be flowing? Time for more flirting, but this time inside the Spinnaker Tower on that scary glass floor. Again, given an hour and the same number of single guys, will she get more offers when the men are standing on top of the scary drop and likely to be feeling a bit of adrenaline? Hey, I can take you if you want. Could you? Yeah. Seriously? She's got one. Then welcome to grab our phone numbers and we'll... Uh and another. And another. So, did it work? Well, yes. <laughs> Two dates on the ground and five at 100 metres. Turns out that adrenaline is an aphrodisiac. This is all about physiology. They were up there on the top of the viewing platform feeling very anxious about heights. They misplaced that anxiety. They thought maybe that was due to the fact that they were with this attractive woman who was flirting with them, and so they became far more likely to ask for her number. Of course, some people are lucky enough to cause a rush of adrenaline by just turning up. Don't you just hate them? You fancy them too.